Hello, good evening. Let's continue the conversation about thoughts. I have so many things to talk about thoughts. I want uh, the reason why I keep emphasizing on the thoughts, dreams, and all those stuff. It's because I want people to be empowered. I want people to take hold of the powers within. You have the powers within. We all have powers within. If you know how, if each of us know how to tap them. So, one of the powers that a person has is thought. So, I mean, if you know how to use your thoughts it's power you can create a reality of a life that you want to become or I mean of a life that you want to have now I want to share to you a story this is an anecdote anecdote ni siya hanga funny siya pero deep ang yung lesson and this is so common to so many people because most people are so conscious of what other people are thinking to a point that they are so anchored to negative thoughts that they are so anchored to where they are and they cannot move forward because they're afraid of what people are thinking diba komo na sa inyo you have heard a lot nya kasagaran ing nana siya Ingnana na siya ang thought process. Labi na kung you are not really that confident within you. Kanang lack ka o confidence. Ang uban po, manong parara sa siya sa confidence. Pero, for those who lack the confidence, usually, they seek validation from other people that they're, they always have to think, to overthink what other people are thinking. Like, di ka ka move on kay basi mo ni gisulti sa mong silingan, mo ni gisulti sa mong igagal, mo ni all this stuff. Yeah, you keep thinking of what people are thinking, and you're stuck to that, and that that creates negative emotion. You'll be stressed. Mas stress ka kay ano no? Basi nung mo ni yek gisulti ka ulaw ako an. Kana kaning ing nana like for example kana kaning Okay, gusto you achieve and you failed after one try, two tries, three tries. After so many tries, like, magunaw na ka ba nga? Hala, magunaw na ko bang to? I'm a failure. All this stuff? If you are that kind of person, listen to this. Or, you're the type of person nga, kaya na ganyan, magpabilib dyan ka, at the expense of other people because bottom line is you want their validation you want to prove something so you keep thinking what other people are thinking without understanding that you're crossing the people at the base muna siya yung mahitabo ka sa garen sa kanang people in the hierarchy nga and baka ng people who are seeking validation katong mga tao nga wants to prove something kanong mga nana ba ang ilang point of reference in every actions that they do or other people so ang tendency di ha ah mailahan na ni mo ang tao kay defensive na uh, klase sa tao kana ganing Lo un sa mga ikasulti ni kuan, un sa mga ika. Kina ang imong reference point always other people. You do not you lack the confidence that your choice is right and good. If you understand, if if you already have the confidence that I know how to decide, that my decisions are right, that my decisions is for the good of everyone. If you have this confidence. You don't need to think what people are thinking. Pero, if ikaw yung ang tao nga, overthinker of what people, you're kidding, to the point nga, 
Kuha na lang ka, maulawan ka. Kay basik unsa masayop, basik unsa ikasulti niya. To the point nga wa kay lami, boring kay kang na, nga tao because you're afraid to try. Wa gyu kay lami ikastorya kay mahadlo ka mostorya kay basik masayop. Boring kay ka. Gusto it's good to be a listener, pero you always have to understand that if you cannot shift role, kana bang puro na lang ka nana, boring ka nga klase sa tao. So, i- i- gusto ka nga mo level up if you want to be dynamic in your conversation, you want to be a dynamic person, you want to be a flex- kana, flexible nga tao. Kana bang, you don't need other people's validation. Kana siya is an exhibit of confidence. So, na ako isulti sa inyo, na ako anecdote ni share sa inyo. I hope you can take lesson from this as I was able, I, I, as I myself got big lessons out from this story. Anecdote ni siya. Story ni siya sa ka tao na huwag mo kita siya, huwag manok. Mukurog siya. Pwede di ba? kurog mga makitag mano pero kan lang, ride on with the story so, ini kakita niya manok, mukurog siya so nagwonder na yung wife may something wrong sa kong bana ako na yung dalhon o doctor doon man, gidala niya doctor gipa-assess sa problema so gi-assess sa doctor ano na niya ay sa, ngayon Magkurog magagang kita kagman, no? So, may problema kung kita kagman, no? Yung tubag, do, nga nung magkurog ko kaya kung makakita ko, no? Mag-isip bang ko, do, nga, mais ko? Nga, tuktuko niya ako niya. Ingat pa din, ah, doktor. Aw, mauna siya. Nga makurog ka. Kung makita kag manok, kaya nag-isip pag ang mais ka. Every time makita kag manok, isipang tao ka, di ka mais. So the lesson here is, recognize the much of reality ba? Be realistic. So, tuwid man, ulit sila. Every time makita siya kag manok, siya ang tao ko, di ko mais. So, one week, two weeks, he did good. Kaya siya, hindi siya magkurog kita manok. Third week, kaya makakita siya manok. Kurog naman sa siya. Parating libugas sa siya, okay naman tani siya, ano naman po niya. Sa mga tong nga gidala niya, nga to balik sa doctor. Pag ito sa doctor, of course, yun na siya sa doktor nga, hmm, di ba kiingnan tamang ka? Every time makakita kag manok, ay pag unang nang mais ka. Huna-huna ang tao ka. Aron di ka makurog. Di ka mahadlok. Ano siya? Bitaw do. Kuan bitaw, every time kakita kag manok. Di na ba yung mag unang mais ko do? Nga nang kurog man ka? Nga nang mahadlok pa man ka? Ngayon ang dok, nangutan ng doktor. Ano dahil siya? Ako ba dok ba? Wat na dyan ko magunaw ng mais ko. Pero ang manok ba dok? Nagunaw na ka na siya nga tao ko. <laughs> so, moral of the story. Kabalo mo, your negative emotions are created out from the thoughts of you thinking what other people are thinking. Muna siya kasagarin. We become defeated. We become disempowered. We become less of a person because of the thoughts that we are thinking what other people are thinking about us. We want to be validated. We want people to believe in us. We want people to applaud us. 
But truth be told, not everyone like us. Not everyone approved of us. Not everyone li- uh, agree with us. And if that's the case, why not settle with what do you believe is right and good? As long as you're not doing anything guilty of condemnation, there's nothing to think about. Let other people think whatever they want to think, but don't spend so much time thinking what other people are thinking. Don't waste your time on that. You're getting less and less of you. You're taking the confidence out of you. So that shyness, the reason why people are shy because they're afraid to be condemned. The reason people why they don't want to try because they're afraid to fail. The reason why people do not cannot move forward because they're afraid to be seen and be mapped. All this stuff. This lack of this is an exhibit of lack of confidence. Reasons why? Because you are thinking what other people are thinking instead of understanding and be clear with what you want to become. And no matter what you do, you do it because you know it's right and good. If you have the confidence, other people's narratives other people's criticisms if it's good it's a bonus other people's perception of you if they are nice those are bonuses the very person that must validate is you make sure that you have approved of yourself the things that you do that no matter how people see them you are confident that you know the answer that is that is right and good so ay mo pag hunahuna kung naghunahuna ba ang manok ni mo nga tao ka so stop thinking what other people are thinking that will start your breakthrough of confidence. Have a good evening. Thank you.